Hey, if you're great to meet up with you at the range, do some further work on your swing. I mean, really, this lesson was all about how much we were getting under playing and how much we were releasing the golf club. And that tends to be your thing when you've been in the past. It's been a tendency of yours to get a little bit under at six and get the hands coming off the club as you flip release it through impact. So we take a little look at your position from the top, transition during the early part of your lesson, P5.6, shaft getting very much under or to the bottom half of your forearm. Resulting in a P6 position, very much club behind the hands. And then from there, we've got to really turn hard and rotate the hands hard to stop that ball going way to the right. As the body stops rotating and sliding, the right heel pops up and that gives you that sort of kicked in right knee look through impact with a high rate of closure on the club face as you come through the ball. So what we spent a lot of time doing was hitting shots, cutting the finish off as quick as possible. In order to cut the finish off as quick as possible, the arms have to stay on the rib cage. When the arms stay on the rib cage, the rate of closure on the club face is reduced, as can be seen here, when you compare the two swings, original swing, drill swing, so you see much more of the grooves on the club face. Also, because from the top, you know you're not going to be able to just throw the arms at it, you tend to use the upper body a little bit more, get a little bit more back into flexion, at P5.6, the shaft is more above the forearm than what we're seeing here. The right knee is not kinking in as much. If we then look at where the club is at P6, it's still in, but it's much less in. And as a result, as we come through the golf ball, we don't need to flip release it quite as much. And you can see there now, there's much less overtaking of the hands through the hitting area. And we're not hitting out at the golf ball excessively, as can be seen by the location of the arms in relation to the shoulders. Towards the end of your session, just hitting some shots after working on that rate of closure. Back into flexion a touch better. Checkpoints that we used previously. We're starting to see that the shaft isn't as quite as far under the forearm as it was before. We're slightly less under it at six. The right heel isn't popping up anywhere near as much P7. And then as we come through the golf ball, there's still the want to flip the club. It's something that you've done for a long time, but there isn't quite as much overtaking on the way through as we saw at the start of your session. So plenty of work on this drill here, hitting the brakes, stopping as quick as you can, helps you shift the plane to the left and control the rate of closure on the club face.
Some nice changes. Keep up the good work. And I look forward to working with you again in a few weeks' time. Well done.